it is interesting to walk with a Holy Spirit that you don't see. But he says he directs you. So sometimes someone will tell you that, how did you make yourself by the grace of God? Say, which grace? What did you do? And the person will tell you exactly what he did. You do something, you don't get results. You see, most often we apply our understanding. what he calls understanding. We have biological understanding, mental understanding, what our teacher taught us, what we think is good, what we think is best, what our experience tells us. I've been through this. I know that this is how it works. God said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him. If you acknowledge him, then he will direct your path. So your path is not directed because you have not acknowledged the person who is with you. When most of you argue about the will of God, what happens is that you are trying to bring your understanding in comparison to the things of God. You think if I walk in my understanding, I'll be where I am. Oh, forget it. It, it, is, it is interesting to walk with a Holy Spirit that you don't see. But he says he directs you. So sometimes someone will tell you that, how did you make yourself by the grace of God? Say, which grace? What did you do? And the person will tell you exactly what he did. You do something, you don't get results. You see, most often we apply our understanding. But how do you acknowledge God in what you do? It is when you ask yourself in every situation you are in that, God, if it was you, what will you do? Should I take left? Should I take right? Should I do it? Lord, which day should I do it? When should I do it? How do you want me to do it? Why should I do it? Because you see, the capacity must not be your capacity. It must be his capacity. And whenever you depend on God, it's like you are leaning on his ability to take you through. When you depend on your understanding, you are depending on your ability to take you through. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. You see, the problem is that there is nothing that God cannot do because the silver is mine, the gold is mine. Everything you need, God has it. But why would he give it to you? Because you don't have what it takes to handle it. So Jesus said, when I go, I have to bring you the helper because when he comes, he will help you and he will be with you. But see, the one to help you so that you will have what he, he, he wants to give you, you don't acknowledge him. And you don't have him with all your heart. He said, trust in the Lord with all and live not on your own understanding. And in all your ways, if you are going to be with you, you must acknowledge him. Look, that is the extent to which you acknowledge God. You acknowledge God until it becomes a formula in your brain. 